Alright everybody, PJ back with another video, actually the first video in my Genesis that I just got and I actually like this car a lot. Let me turn on some of this good working AC. If y'all remember when I first got my Mustang, I did not have good working AC. I had to go on and fix it, which is one of the things that you know what's unfortunate about me having a Mustang. Well, getting that particular one, nothing really to complain about or anything, but it is nice to have, you know, an updated car with working AC, working, everything's working, everything's nice. Um, the car still feels new and inside. I learned from y'all that you always want to have safety first, so seat belts on before we get to moving. But I'm about to go to this spot that I like going to whenever I'm recording videos such as the one today. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll be on my way. Okay, so for as the topic of today's video, my car actually sounds nice from the factory. Not lot, not nearly as loud as the Mustang. Not nearly as loud as my previous Genesis. But uh, you know, it's a, it has a nice tone to it from the factory. Of course, I'll be buying an exhaust system very soon for that. That's going to be one of the very first things I do. Um, if you own a Genesis or have owned a Genesis or thought about owning a Genesis, let me know the specific exhaust that you went with or are gonna go with for yours. Uh, I previously went with the Stillen catback, and I think I'm gonna go with that again. Ever since I sold the Cobra, I've been getting a lot of backlash. You know what? Let me start off by saying I do really appreciate everybody that's been on the channel. And if you aren't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. But I have been getting a lot of backlash from people ever since I sold it and picked up the Genesis. They say that it was a major downgrade, but I don't really see it like that. Give me a few minutes to explain this and I promise y'all will have a better understanding on why I did it. Okay, so a little backstory about my life and the cars that I've had and the situations I've been in. Um, I was fortunate enough to get a 2004 Pontiac Grand Prix. Uh, my mom paid for it whenever I was in high school, I believe. I think I was a junior because me and my sister used to always fight for like two years straight um just because i had to ride to school with her well i didn't have to but you know i did and we would fight all the time and she would get tired of doing that so she was nice enough to buy me a car when i got the car i believe it had probably the same amount of mileage as my mustang did but i can honestly say it was in a lot better shape as in not necessarily like performance wise or whatever, but it felt like it was newer than it was. And that's one thing that I've come to appreciate and the Mustang just wasn't that. After about two years of ownership with the Pontiac, I decided to, you know, start working and get my own car because that's when I first started getting into cars. I pretty much vaguely explained that in my last video, but it was uh, 2014 whenever I finally got a chance to trade in my Pontiac and get the my first Genesis. That was a 2010 Genesis Coupe. Uh, I believe it was just the base of what you can get. It was an automatic and I loved the car a lot. That was actually my favorite car at the time and it still is my favorite car today. So I went through all the fun of modding the car and doing all that and you know, personalized the car like it was mine, which you know, I took pride in that. And the car ended up being very great, but then skip forward some more time because I want to keep this short. I ended up wanting to get rid of the car because I was under the impression that it was in my name and, you know, uh, I was building credit with making my payments and everything. So after a few years of ownership, I ended up uh, wanting to get rid of it just because, one, I wanted a manual car and, you know, just something different. I ended up trying to get a Terminator Cobra, which I could not get on my own I would need a co-signer after all of that went through I got my mom to co-sign for me and I got the Terminator that was a pretty great idea I had a lot of fun experiences with the car I really don't regret getting it don't regret owning it but I am NOT a Mustang guy most of you probably know that now since I got rid of it and I wanted something a little bit newer. The Terminator was a great car. I'm gonna keep saying it and it's just nothing else I can say. But that particular Terminator, it needed some TLC whenever I first bought it. Of course, with me buying it with 113,000 miles, I knew that of course, but I thought it would be more fun than it was. And 
I feel like it would have been more fun if I made a lot more money than I did just so it could even out with me spending the majority of my budget on actually modding the car and not just keeping it running and not necessarily keeping it running but whenever I did make mods to it it just felt like it was like it still felt old it didn't feel like it was getting refreshed or anything and I feel like that was just the downside of owning a early 2000s Ford and a lot of you probably disagree with my decision I don't really care about that because you know I do my YouTube I like cars because that's what I like that's what I want to do and I'm not about to sit here and you know try to tend to you guys' needs as much as my own as bad as that sounds but hopefully y'all understand what I mean if I'm not happy then I'm not gonna be able to make y'all happy because I'm not having fun doing anything. But that was just a little brief, very brief and very quick overview of how this car came to be. Okay, so this is where I usually record at whenever I just wanna make a brief video about my car, but people are already sitting here. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep going and find another spot. A few inches later. I did end up filling my car up and coming to a different spot. But now it's time for me to show y'all my car for the first time. There it is. Man, I don't know about y'all, but I actually do love these cars. The very first time I fell in love with the BK1. I don't know why, but that happened to be my favorite one at the time. Uh, that was what 2014 yeah but uh let me show y'all what's up with this car though as you can see it's just the Genesis R spec still looks like very stock has the stock wheels I did like that these cars actually come with the Brembo's from factory that makes it a lot better on my part because I don't have to go with any big brake kits not anytime soon if all those fails I'll just change the pads out and make the pads a lot better and uh, of course the rotors I'll get some drill slotted rotors I don't like that whoever owned this car did not take care of the wheels as you can see the curb rash and I believe all four of them may be like that there's the back of it I do love these tail lights I'm gonna keep those for the long run for the most part the exhaust they I don't believe they came stock with these big obnoxiously square tips but like I said it does sound kind of good the car's still on you can't really hear it because it's a little bit too quiet for my liking there's this little I don't know if you can tell but it's like a little dent and the paint's missing a little bit right here that's something being nitpicky about it that I don't like all in all I mean it's just a stock Genesis oh yeah and they did have a front plate on it because it was originally from Texas I took that off and I have these holes right here. This may be foreshadowing, telling you guys that I'm going to do something with the front end and make it a little bit more aggressive. Another thing that I can say I don't like about this R-Spec model of this car is it did not come with the LED DRLs. And I was pretty bummed out about that whenever I found out, but hey, I guess that's just something else I got to mod or either something I got to live with. Also the hood, well the fake hood vents, these are fake. They are starting to peel and I need to do something about that because that throws off the whole hood look on this car and I don't necessarily like that. And on to the inside of the car. Oh, it's locked. And they did replace the emblems with these wing badges. I did like the wing badges. I don't like these obviously because it doesn't have a symbol in the middle. And I like the ones more without this background filled in. I don't like that and I think whenever I get some more I'm probably gonna go with carbon fiber or gloss just because I had matte on the green one and I don't know I want to do something different with this car but let's check out the inside this is pretty much one of the re well one of the main reasons why I got it like I said I do like the updated interior this looks fairly nice and feels fairly nice I like the shifter it's you know I need to do something about that it's it's in need of a short shifter. But all in all, I got the bucket seats. They are not the most comfortable from the factory. Just because, not because of the bolsters or you know the leg bolsters or the material or anything. 
it's literally just because of the lumbar support there is no way that i can adjust it and i feel like it has me sitting out like my lumbar is poked too much forward and then the rest of my body just sits back so i'm in this weird position with that but i have some stuff back here that i still need to clean out but the inside of the car is quite nice i like it i like it a lot actually this car man it just i don't know it gives me this sense of like i wouldn't say luxury even though this is supposed to be a luxurious sports car but uh yeah it makes me feel like like i own something like my money isn't going to waste if you know what i mean because like even though i know it's good for me to feel good about the car but i feel like whenever other people tell you that your car is nice and just stuff like that and not just you driving an old mustang and they don't really care about it i don't know it does something with your self-esteem and it just makes you feel good if you disagree with that then oh well just fight about it in the comment section but that's literally all i had for this video um if you like the video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and oh yeah let me know in the comment section what y'all think the first mod should be that i do on my car obviously without y'all telling me i'm gonna do something with the exhaust because this thing has to get a little bit louder and a little bit better tone to it but other than that should i go for exterior mods first or interior mods performance mods what should i do first most of y'all are you know performance savvy and like that kind of stuff that's why y'all follow me from the first place because i had the cobra but i don't know i don't know i think i wanted to pick up a new leaf and uh still do performance of course because i like the performance aspect of it also but I think I want to make this thing look very nice. As I stated before, if you're unsubscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Comment down in the section below, like I said, and let me know any mods that you would want me to do to the car. Share this video with your friends and family and the last video if you haven't already. And let PJ know he's back on the prowl, back in the Hyundai Genesis, back at it again with the white bands. <laughs> let me stop because I ain't even got on white bands. I'm rocking the dunks today. The dunks from like my freshman year of high school, but oh well. I don't necessarily throw away shoes like that. I don't try to anyways, but yeah, like I said, this is just about wraps up this video. Always remember to do more, be more, believe more, and achieve more. And I thank y'all for watching.